Hello and welcome to my tutorial. In this tutorial we'll show you how to import a UT3 modular pawn. In this case it will be Malcolm from UT3. Uh, what I mean by modular is the fact that they have arms, legs, torso and a head. All different meshes but they come together as one and the same. Uh, it's, it's how Epic basically said, you know, let's have guys with, you know, bigger <laughs> arms or a special helmet or something like that. And that way they could get away with a lot more and basically save space. Uh, also, I will show you how to create a uh, anim track uh, that can blend between one and the other. Now, I will be using the anim tree uh, that I've made by default. Uh, this tutorial does not cover how to make that anim tree. All right, let's begin. Right off the bat, we're going to import. What we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to find our Malcolm package. In this case, it's CH Malcolm. Right here, I have all the skeletal meshes. I'm just going to import them all at once. Uh, there's nothing special. Uh, I will put them in the mesh group. To me, it's just easier this way. I'll say OK to all. It'll process them. Great, this is fantastic. We got them all. Um, also, I will uh, import textures as well, just because it is easier. Now, texture cubes, I'm not going to import. I just don't like texture cubes. I'll save it for some people that deserve it. Malcolm doesn't deserve it. All right, so I'm going to import all the Ds first. And the way you can tell is after this, you see the underscore of a D. So I got all the Ds. That's good. Put in the text group. And we're going to change it to a character, texture group character. And D is just diffuse. And I'll say OK at all. It takes a while, just because it's a, it's a big texture. <laughs> Unlike now, what they're trying to do with the smaller textures. <laughs> I've seen it where on Xbox, it's like, oh, we got to cram in a few more models quickly. <laughs> Destroy the textures. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. And then this is the spectacular one. Uh, character spectacular. Good. All right. Got the... Oh, there's also E for uh, emissive. Uh, emissive can be helpful in some cases. Um, that's if you wanted lights or something like that on a character. Now, for that, I change it to character, and I also go RGB to emissive. And sometimes that changes things, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, that's that. So we got those good. Uh, also, I'm forgetting the normals, which is basically how you get the wrinkles and things, and also like depth. Uh, it's how they can cheap out on models and have less polygons. Uh, let's see. Character normal. That's what we want. Excellent. Alright, so we got our character in there. Also, uh, I will... Um, well, I guess I could... No, nah, I'll just create a few materials right now. Uh, I was thinking about saving it, but I'll, I'll wait till that's done. So basically I'm just going to call this Malcolm Head. There we go. Head mat. Good. And I always like adding a mat on, just to, it's it's easier for me to see it. So basically what I do is I hold down Control T, and I click where I want. So right then and there I can get what I need, that's good. I did forget one setting for normal, and that's just changing uh, one of the settings, but it, it really doesn't matter at this point. It's the, the result in the game is close to the same people barely notice the difference. Alright, so that's the guy's head. I'm gonna click you know, the check mark basically there. It's made the material. It's wonderful. That's good. So as we can see, we got the head. Also, I will create one for the body. So Malcolm body. And I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna copy it like this. There we go. Excellent. This is very good. 
All right, so basically what I've done is I've gone ahead and created the other materials. It's just the same thing over and over again. So for example, the arm, I just find the materials, I connect them in, I click the button, we're good. Uh, the only one that I made a little change to was the Malcolm head here. Uh, in Malcolm head, if you look under material, you see two-sided. I had checked that just because of some glasses, because I wanted to make sure that they could be seen on the other side. Sometimes they do that. I've also gone through and painstakingly gone through each and every single one of these meshes and basically set the rotate origin to negative 90 degrees. I had to open each one individually, copy paste. That's done. Uh, and then I also basically had to just play around and find out which material was right for each thing. Uh, the arms was obviously the arms. Uh, when we got down to the boots and stuff though, then it became the body, except for the goggles where it was the head. So for example, right here, we got some glasses, that's nice. Uh, originally you can't really see it from this side. And because I had two-sided, you're able to see the lenses on this side, which is nice. Um, there's still this goggle, and it's, there's really nothing here. There's, it's, I think it's a blank one. Uh, I'll leave it in there, but I, I think it's blank, considering it's only one triangle. Uh, that's that. I saved it. Um, and now we're ready to basically uh, go to the Stormtrooper template. Uh, so I'm basically going to go into our UA maps, which is basically where I like to store all our nice maps. And I really do like the Stormtrooper map the best. Um, it, I like how it's a white guy on a black background. Uh, this to me is, is very easy to see and spot. So basically right here we have our Stormtrooper. If we just play it right now, uh, we'll see him do basically a little animation. And, you know, it, it just shows that everything's working on him. You know, he's got an Anim tree, he's got the Anim track, uh, he's got the whole thing going for him. There we go. Good job, Stormy. Good job. All right, so basically what we're going to do right off the bat is it's going to be very, very simple. We're just going to click on the head, and we're going to have the head selected in the editor, and we're going to go Skeletal Mesh. We're going to click here and go with the arrow. Ta-da! Look at that. Look at who the Stormtrooper actually is. Isn't that amazing? All right, so we go to the next thing. Uh, let's find the torso here as well. Good, torso and torso. There we go. He's looking a bit weird now. Uh, for the arms, I I guess I'll go with the second pair of arms. I, I don't care. Uh, yeah, that looks, that looks right. Let's see, we got this for the whole whole bottom part here so we got the thighs which is nice and ironically they're named all the same now it's just probably because it's ported all on UT3 uh, also here we have the legs or the boots so we find the boots and yes of course it's named boots beautiful there we go now the nice thing is we didn't have to do any uh, connecting Basically what I had to do uh, normally is I had to, for each one of these meshes, I had to connect it to the torso. So we see here, we see the head connected here, we see the legs and other things like that. Uh, it's, it's all fine and good. Um, there's one thing that seems a bit off about this. Arms seem off to me. I wonder if they need to be the body material instead. It might, might be what has to happen here. Uh... Oh, you know what? I think it might have been for the shoulder pads. Okay, what I'll do, just because this is quicker. Uh, yeah, there's, there's something wrong there. I'll just use the body material. Yeah, this is right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Again, you always play around with it, see what it is. And I'm going to save this. Now, what's funny about this is it doesn't change in here automatically. Uh, basically, what I like to do is... Well, what I'll do is I'll just go save as for now. Uh, and I'll call this uh, Malcolm. Uh, cap lock. There we go. I added that extra L in there. That's nice. And there we go. As we can see, it's changed over. And he looks basically like a soldier. Uh, there we go. I went back to, into the correct lighting here where you actually get lighting applied. Um, now let's just make sure that everything is working by default. And there we go. Um, he's basically doing the same animation as the Stormtrooper. Uh, ah, the Stormtrooper has more class than him, though. This guy's just a poser. He doesn't know what it's all about. So, the next little part, I'll show you how to go about uh, the matinee track.